I've got four chicken recipes that your family's gonna ask for over and over again. First up is Ranch Ritz Chicken. This is Winston's all-time favorite. He absolutely loves this and it is so easy. All you need is some thin cut chicken breast, some ranch, some cheese, and some crushed up Ritz crackers. We're gonna go ahead and get our chicken coated in that ranch and set it aside. In a separate bowl, we are going to take and add our crushed Ritz crackers with some cheese, and then that's what's gonna be our breading for our ranch coated chicken. Now we're just gonna take and coat our chicken in that ranch and cheese mixture. I just kinda move it around and press it in with the cheese being a little thicker. It does take a little bit more effort, but it is definitely one of our favorites. This is so good. So I'm just gonna repeat this until all of the chicken breasts are coated. If there's any cracker and cheese mixture left, I like to kind of put some on top, that way I know that they're nice and full. We will put these in a 375 degree oven for anywhere from like 20 to 30 minutes. You just wanna make sure that your chicken is cooked all the way through. Internal temperature needs to be 165. And here's what they look like when they're all done. They are so good. Like I said, Winston absolutely loves this one and it's definitely a family favorite. For this night, we served it with some green beans and some mac and cheese. Next up is broccoli cheddar chicken pot pie. This is a Luke's number one pick. He absolutely loves this one. So you need some sour cream, some cheese, some broccoli. We're using the Campbell's broccoli cheddar soup. You also need some pie crust. Of course you can use frozen or you can make homemade, totally up to you. And then we're gonna add in some bacon and some chicken. I've got some oil there heated in that pan. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cut up chicken. We're gonna get that seasoned and cooked all the way through. Now that the chicken's cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add in our broccoli. I did put that in the microwave for a little bit just so I could cut it up into smaller pieces. That way it incorporated better. After giving it a season, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my Campbell's broccoli cheddar soup and my sour cream. Give everything a mix and then we will add in our bacon, give it one last mix and we'll get it put in the pie shell. We've got it added into our pie crust. We're gonna top it with some cheese and then we're gonna add that second pie crust on top. We will give it a little crimp, make it kind of pretty. I'm not the best at making pies, but that's okay. <laughs> and then we will do a egg wash on top just to kind of help make it nice and crusty and give it some color. We will bake this at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. Here it is right out of the oven. This was so, so good, you guys. You definitely need to give this a try if you like pot pie. I will make sure to have the recipe linked down below for you guys. Next up is brown sugar chili chicken. I have shared this a ton on my channel, but this is my father-in-law's absolute favorite thing that I make for a chicken recipe. All you need is some bacon, some chicken tenders. You can use frozen or the fresh ones. And then you need some brown sugar and some chili powder. 
So I went ahead and took the tendon out of the chicken tender, and then we're just gonna wrap each tender in one piece of bacon. We're just gonna set that aside, do all that, and then we'll get cleaned up, and we will mix together our brown sugar and chili powder mixture. Now that those are all wrapped, we're gonna go ahead and mix together our brown sugar and chili powder. I just do it like kind of in a flat container, that way I can, um, you know, coat the whole piece of chicken. Now remember, you cannot save this. It is cross-contamination. You're putting raw bacon and raw chicken in this, so you can't save this after you're done. So you can always add more brown sugar and more chili powder, but it's better to start with a smaller amount. That way you're not wasting as much product. So I just kind of mix it together and then we will coat each tender in that mixture and then we will put it on our baking pan back there. Make sure that you use a baking pan that has a lip around it because as this cooks, the brown sugar is going to create a syrup and you don't want that running all over your oven. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the step until all of the tenders are coated. We're gonna bake these at 350 for 20 to 30 minutes. You just wanna make sure that the internal temperature is 165. They are so, so good. This night I paired it with some corn and a baked potato. Last but not least, we're doing an easy sheet pan dinner. I love sheet pan dinners because you can just dump everything on one pan and get it cooked up. So for this one, I'm going to use this chicken sausage. This was new to me, actually. I got this at Aldi, and you guys, it is so, so good. If you have never tried that one and you have an Aldi in your area, definitely give it a try. I paired it with some sweet potatoes, some carrots, and some broccoli. I've got my oven preheated at 400. I'm gonna go ahead and get the sweet potatoes and the carrots on first because that will take the longest. I'm just gonna give those a drizzle of olive oil and just season those up. You just season with whatever your family likes. I'm using some Badia Complete with some salt and pepper. And then whenever I do roasted veggies, I really like to add in some balsamic vinegar. I think it gives it some nice flavor. So that's something that I always add. I'm just gonna give that a good toss and then we're gonna get that put on our sheet pan and get that put in the oven. I'm gonna season up my broccoli the same way, but I'm just gonna set that aside until it's time to get it added onto the pan. Now that the sweet potatoes and carrots are almost done, we're gonna go ahead and add on our broccoli and add on the chicken sausages. We're gonna put that back in the oven until everything is fully cooked. This ended up taking about 35 minutes to cook everything together. And here's what it looks like when it was all done. This was just so, so good. I love roasted veggies, and then whenever you can add that chicken sausage in, it makes it a full, complete meal. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some new meal inspiration or some ideas that you may have forgot about. Let me know in the comments down below what your family favorite chicken dishes are, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.